Hey everybody and welcome back to more Marvel Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4. Last time we explored the city a bit, we collected some backpacks, had some network towers, and we kind of just talked about Spider-Man video games. Oh, and we got the advanced suit. <laughs> That's a pretty important thing to remember since it's like the uh, main suit for the game. Even though it's not required to wear uh, if you don't want to. If you want to switch back to the amazing suit right after you get it, you can. There's nothing stopping you. I just wanted to show the advanced suit because I mean it's a suit designed strictly for this game by Insomniac, and today uh, we're actually going to explore the city a little bit more. Uh, I do want to apologize for this, uh, for people who probably don't care about the city stuff, but I do want to show uh, like a bit of this. This is really the last episode where it's the most like focused on the city, so in the next episode we'll definitely be doing more plot stuff. I just wanted to get this out of the way and show it, because it's an LP, I gotta show what I can, so... We also have another construction site coming up. Uh, like I brought up last episode, when we start doing these, you're gonna just play Mew and speed these up. So, uh, we're actually playing the Spider-Man theme from the PlayStation 1, I am N64, and I think Dreamcast, maybe? Nah, I'm not sure. Uh, version of Spider-Man. So, I really like this version. It's basically, like, the regular Spider-Man theme. Specifically, like, when you play her, like, if you can watch the 60s version, where it's like, Spider-Man, Spider-Man, you know, it's Spider you know, uh, it's like that, but it's like remixed in the PS1's uh, soundtrack, I guess. It's really catchy, I really like it a lot. When you're doing uh, the construction slides, uh, they start you out by doing stealth, and basically if you're doing this stuff, it makes it easier because you can pretty much just get rid of the entire first wave of the mood crush. Um, if you want to do these, you feel free. I'm going to be honest, half the time, it would have been. Sometimes I'm like, you know what, I'm going to do the stealth uh, thing of it, and other times I'm kind of like, you know what, I'm just going to go right in and just do it. Because I never find these mood crushes be quite difficult. There are... Uh, I will just kind of tell one thing, I won't say, I won't go into spoiler territory, but like, uh, like story-wise, but there are different kinds of mood crushes in this game, and there's one particular that can be quite difficult, and that's more just because of the enemies, but like, these construction sites are not hard for the mood crushes, like, I've never had trouble doing them. It's especially a lot easier when you get, uh, the spider bro, uh, which is a focus bar, uh, it's a focus meter that we can get later on. <laughs> Spider Bro is OP. I'm not, I think I brought it up in the first episode, but it's really good. Um, there's another uh, focus meter that gives you Web Blossom. That one's really good as well because basically Spider Man will shoot up and he'll like if you jump up in the air and he'll like shoot like which are like webs like all across the screen. It's kind. Of, I don't want to say it's a screen nuke because it's really not, but it's kind of similar, I guess. Uh, so yeah. I didn't bring this up, but you may have saw earlier when we started this uh, construction site, but we have actually a new move, and it's where Spider-Man will jump in the air and, like, swing on a web, oh, a, web, a web, and he'll actually, like, kick an enemy. I really love that move a lot, because it's just, like, there we go, we just did it. But, um, I really like that move a lot. It's actually really good, uh, to use. Another thing I haven't really brought up yet, and I think about it, is we've seen him do it a couple times, actually, I think I just did it is, um, with the web pool, or in general, you can actually kick enemies off of buildings. A really nice touch that I love a lot that they added to this game is, uh, when you do that, you don't actually kill the enemies, because Spider-Man doesn't kill people. Uh, so what happens is when he does it, he actually, like, web zips them to the building or whatever, so they don't die and fall off the building, which I like a lot. Uh, at least that's the reason they give. I don't think you actually see that, but I love that they actually <laughs> mentioned that, so yeah. I really love that version of the Spider-Man theme. It's really good. Hey, everything's quiet here now, Captain. Great. That's one more revenue stream Wilson Fisk can't use to pay his lawyers. And yeah, that's the second construction site down. Like I kind of brought up in the last episode, I don't know if I'll show all of these. I'm showing quite a few of them. But I, it's not that I don't want to. It's just after a while, you're kind of watching the same thing over and over again. You kind of run out of things to talk about. It's kind of boring, so yeah. 
It's like an episode of Ultimate Spider-Man, but um, Tish. I'm not a fan of that show. I remember when it got announced, I was really excited because I like Ultimate Spider-Man. It's the only, like, Spider-Man comic that I have read a bit of. Uh, besides, like, I've read some, like, amazing Spider-Man, but it's, like, individual, like, issues. I haven't read all of Ultimate, but I do like it. I meant to wash this gym shirt six years ago. Hey, you. I mean, gym shirts do get nasty, especially when they're sweaty. Oh, my God. Like, it... That's why they always say never leave dirty clothes, like, in the washer, because they would get, like, spoiled and stink, and oh my god, it's bad. It's like when you're in high school, like, he kind of brought up there, like, you have a bunch of sweaty high school kids together, like, doing exercise, and there are kids who will leave their clothes in the, uh, in their locker. It's disgusting. Hi, Mr. Muggins. Uh, this is about the rent. Mr. Parker, this call serves as your third and final warning. Conviction proceedings... Wait, wait, I get paid at the end of the week. I get... Ugh. Eviction proceedings will start Friday unless full payment is received by close of business. Good day. Yeah, good day. He'll pay the rent when you fix the damn door! Oh, I love that. That's actually one of my favorite lines from Spider-Man 3. I don't know why, I just... I like Emo Peter. He's very funny for all the wrong reasons. He gets the... Uh, like, the apartment guy, like, her daughter, he feeds her, or she feeds him cookies. I don't know why I remember that. For some reason, it's due. That poor girl, like, honestly, a big issue I have with the Sam Raimi trilogy is Mary Jane is kind of, I'm just gonna be blunt, she's kind of a bitch in, uh, those movies. And, like, that girl really likes Peter. She seems like a nice girl, I think. And Peter's like, nah, I'm gonna go with Mary Jane. Even though Gwen Stacy is better. You can fight me RL. I actually think Stan Lee just came out and said, like, he even thinks Gwen Stacy is better than Mary Jane, so, yeah. Almost forgot I bought this snow globe for Aunt May. I think I get my love for this city from her. But yeah, I, I like Gwen Stacy a lot more. Uh, obviously, for some people who probably don't know, I mean, a lot of people kind of know if you watch in the Spider-Verse or you even know a little bit about Spider-Man. Uh, Gwen Stacy actually kind of becomes a Spider-Man, woman, whatever, because she becomes Spider-Gwen, so yeah. She's a very popular uh, Spider-Man Marvel character. I don't know what I was trying to say there, but yeah. I, I do like Gwen Stacy, and I like Spider-Gwen. I haven't read the comic, but I liked her uh, into the Spider-Verse, and I think Spider-Gwen... Like, the costume design is really awesome, so. There's a lot of, like, different Spider-Man. Like, there's the whole... I, I I don't know why people don't like it, but I do know a lot of people hate it. And it's the Clone Saga. There's another Spider-Man for that. I cannot think of his name at the moment, though. And I'll put a caption here uh, for his name, but I know of that. And there's uh, Spider-Man 299, and he's basically Spider-Man from the future. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot of different Spider-Men. There's also Spider-Ham, which is a pig, he's Peter text. Porker. Uh, I'm sure there's other Spider-Men I'm forgetting about. There's all, well, like, noir Spider-Man, but, you know. Uh, and obviously the most popular other Spider-Man is Miles Morales. Uh, yeah, uh, Miles, he's pretty much the main character of in the Spider-Verse, and he's the main character of Ultimate Spider-Man now. I broke this chip off his horn and figured out what his costume's made of. Still wasn't easy to beat him. My back still aches just thinking about it. And yeah, I like Rhino a lot. Like, Rhino's a pretty... He's actually one of my more favorite uh, Spider-Man villains, honestly. Uh, probably, like... I'm trying to think, like, popular Spider-Man villains. Like, I love... I love Mysterio a lot. He's actually a pretty big favorite of mine. Green Goblin's an obvious one. Uh, Venom. Everybody likes Venom, I think. I, I do like Carnage, even though, like, I think Venom's a more interesting character than Carnage. I still like Carnage a lot. Uh, I think Carnage, or I love for him, is more just because of the 90s show, and he, I thought he was so cool for some reason. Like, I used to think he was cooler than Venom when I was a kid. And it was purely, I think, just because he was red, and red was my favorite color at the time. I was really young and weird and silly. Uh, but yeah. Here's a new type of crime. We haven't really brought these up yet, especially the car chase. Uh, I, these are actually my favorite types of crimes to do because you're just on these cars and dodging gunshots. This is the most like actiony, packed, cinematic-y, totally a word, uh, crime to fight against. They're just fun. And the like little mini game you get. Well, we're about to see here in a second. It's really cool. I love this. 
Uh, there's another one later on that you can do. I don't think we'll see this till like episode like 10 or 12 probably. But it's like, Spider-Man will jump in front of the car and the car will flip and he'll catch it. And it's like, oh, that's so cool. I love that. Because Spider-Man is really strong. Like, he's not like the Incredible Hulk or anything, but he's very strong. Because I mean, his spider, he, he has the sense of a spider. And really, I think, I don't think there, I don't know if spiders are like ants. I know ants can lift like... Like, t it's like 10,000 times or like 10 times their weight, I think, which is crazy to me. If ants were larger, they would legit do so much damage to the world. But, uh, yeah, spiders are pretty strong, too, apparently. I mean, they, like, make webs and stuff. That takes a lot of strength to do. But we're actually about to get into some story content with the cutscenes, so here you go. Well, no, we don't. We actually... Cutscenes later on, I think. I don't know. Mr. Lee's probably in the kitchen getting ready for the party. Yeah, this is the feast center. Uh, it's kind of like a homeless shelter. Well, it is a homeless shelter uh, where people just come. Hey guys, like, obviously, if you don't know what a homeless shelter is, it's where homeless people come to like hang out and eat food and stuff. So yeah. I'm crushing him. Well, the important thing is having fun. I have a lot of fun whooping his ass. <laughs> I love that old lady. She's so funny. Uh, you can actually come back here more throughout the game, and they'll actually have like updated conversations and stuff. It's cool. So, like, their little story art kind of, like, develops more and more. It's really nice. Hey, Martin, so sorry I'm late. You were right on time. Just keep her distracted while we get everything ready. You got it. Hey, there's my favorite aunt. Hey, there. What a nice surprise. Need some help? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, there are some heavy no, boxes. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, I mean, not yet. I mean, I came to, uh... I just, just just wanted to talk. Okay. Okay. Um. Peter. Are you in trouble? Do you need money? No, no I mean, I'm a little behind on my rent, but no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Girl problems again, huh? What? No, that's crazy. I still wish you and MJ could work things out. She's a great girl. She is, but... The two of you would make some beautiful wow. baby. Uh... Peter, what is it? Come on, you can tell me. These past few years, you helping me through college and working here, sacrificing so much and asking for nothing. I just wish there were more people like you in the world. He's right. Five years ago, you walked in here and told me you were inspired by my mission to help others. Now it's you who inspires me. Thank you, May, for everything. Here's for many more years of service. Thanks again for setting all this up. Oh, I just wish I could do more. Well, May's always told me if you help someone, you help everyone. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should send May to City Hall to have a word with the mayor. Oh, I gotta run. Um, thanks again for the party and everything. It, it, it really means a lot. Voicemail from Yuri. Should check it outside. Yeah, like, uh, Aunt May, obviously... Oh, wait. In the back, I think. Oh, Thanks. Okay. Well, Aunt May, obviously, is the aunt of hey Peter guys. Parker. <laughs> obviously. And she's the uncle... Or uncle she's the uncle of Uncle Ben. <laughs> she's the... Or, dang it! She's the wife of Uncle Ben. There you go. And, uh, yeah, I love Aunt May. She's such a good character. But, uh... Yeah, next time in Marvel's Spider-Man for the PS4, we'll actually be doing a lot more plot... Rel rel plot... Yeah, plot relevant stuff as we're actually going to finally meet some of the antagonists of this game so see you guys next time